Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Little Glitz, or just gonna go back to some more of The Walking Dead, season one, episode number four, around every corner. So, last we left off, we had just made our way into Savannah, or we were with the train, and we heard some dude on Clementine's radio. Do not know who he is. Obviously, Clementine has some explaining to do by who she's been talking to, as we saw in the preview as well. And um, it could be creepy. Someone's obviously waiting for us here. We might get killed. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, Lee and Clementine have been really good, and even Kenny so far. Although Kenny has lost um, his family, he's kind of a little razzled about that. So, we also recently picked up Krista and Omid, so we're going to see how they react with the group now. We still have Chuck going on there, and Ben, hopefully he dies soon. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos of episode number four. If you guys do, drop a like rating, I very much appreciate it. And there's also a playlist linked in the description for the entire season one. Other than that, let's get into it. Episode four, Around Every Corner. An awkward loading moment when you don't speak because you think it's going to be doing something quickly, but it's not. Let's go. Previously on The Walking Dead. Dun, dun, dun. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard oh, enough out of you. Poor Carly, I loved her. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh my God, seeing it again, so horrible. You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you, as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. And he watched it. Like, oh, why would you watch it? Hey, Katra wasn't there. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. <sighs> what? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! You son of a... Ah! <laughs> like I would just Shit. bounce off it like that. I can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. And everyone goes crazy in zombie apocalypses. Like you think they'd all be more. I don't know. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I don't know. It's people are just have issues. Telltale Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment. Ha! <laughs> Got it that time. I've already kind of memorized the entire little part, starting part. The Walking Dead with a green tint to it because green's the best color there is. Dun dun dun. All right, well, here's our train. It would appear we've stopped. That's actually the bridge that we saw on, on the end of the last episode. So I guess we just stopped next to Jefferson, I don't know, Street? Avenue? Boulevard? I don't know. But this is obviously Savannah. It's all run down dead. There's Kenny with a gun in his hand. Episode 4. Around every corner. Ben walking backwards for some odd reason. Omid, his legs obviously still way messed up. <clears throat> Chuck has a shovel for some odd reason. Hmm. Yeah, you're not getting this back. Never again. Can't I just hold it? Nope. Nope. Can I say no? I'll say it. Just um, for a little while? No. We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... I already told you no. Don't ask me again, okay? What's the harm in letting her have it? It doesn't even work. Oh, yes, you it take does. Care of yours, let me take care of mine. Yeah, screw sorry you, Krista. Spoke. Yeah, you should be sorry you spoke. I guess I didn't, I guess I didn't tell them pretty bad. about, like, I'm the person. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Um... Uh... Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? It should be just a few more blocks up ahead. Looks like Kenny's still really depressed. There? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Screw you, Ben, you suck up. You killed his family. What the hell? It's a it's a bell, guys. It's not like that crazy of a thing. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Okay, that is weird. It's probably the person that was talking to us on the radio. Or it's, or it's that there. person. Are you sure? 
I don't see anything. Screw you, Ben. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. I said nothing of the sort. That must have been some off-screen action. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. Clementine is such an idiot. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, why would she be talking to some random stranger on a radio? That's just what messed up. What was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Oh, snap. Walkers, I presume. For thee. Like, they're so scared, they're just really slow walkers. Like, if you just start moving right now, you'd be probably good to go. Um. Everybody, run! Yeah, see? See, I know, I, know, I know what to do. I know what to do in the zombie apocalypse. He can run fine, but he couldn't even walk. That makes logical sense. Clementine, you, better, you best be telling us who this is if we live this, which I think we would. Oh no, Kenny! Take him out! Someone help Kenny! Kenny! Aim! Kill him! I got this, I got this. Hiya! Got you, Kenny. Little too close. Don't you think? Ben! Can I shoot Ben instead? Like it could be an accident. What? See? Can we just kill Ben off, honestly? I got this. Huh! 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 Oh god, you're next to me. Um, huh. That long range. Oh, to your left. I missed. Huh. I missed again. I'm not good at this. And it wouldn't let me hit him. I swear that I was literally hitting him. Oh, go on, Chuck, with that shovel. Shoveling. He's like the shovel girl, or whatever that was. Oh, no, you could just come with us right now. What are you, what are you talking about? Okay, well, that was weird. I guess Chuck's gonna die because of Ben, yet again. Another thing Ben's done and killed someone. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell is Chuck? He stayed back. He's gonna die, unfortunately. And look at him go with that shovel. Trouble. We gotta help him. I right, go to the gate behind There's us. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. Okay, we're not going to the gate behind us. Well. I'm sorry, Chuck. You literally just got introduced and then Ben killed you, basically, so good job. Good job, Ben. Oh, is that Omid? I like Omid. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're oh. bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. On it. Step, Kenny, ben. That door I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Can we throw Ben we're at the door and maybe knock it down? You... Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Okay, someone's apparently playing Counter Strike. Um, I don't want to talk to Ben. You know what? Let's talk to Ben. Let's, let's bitch him out again. Yeah. Have issues. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? No. Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Can't we just kill him? What about Kenny? How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. At least not with me. Yeah, well, I figure that's probably for the best. Uh, I'm no. Go check things out. Can I talk to Kenny All and right. tell him that um, Ben killed his family? Because, I mean, I'm okay with Kenny killing him. That's, that's fine with me. Like, I mean, I'd rather do it, but if need be, Kenny can do it for me. Um, let's see. How's it coming? I can't tell him, Found sadly. In yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Um, okay, well, I'll just stop talking to you then. Have a look around. You obviously... <clears throat> um, oh, hey, look, doggy door. What's this? 
Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I Push tried it. it already. That's locked too. Oh, what kind Who of the wow. hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> At least Kenny still has a sense of humor. So, where's the dog? I'm gonna guess, um, probably in this burial plot right here because right next to the doggy door, and you can, we can clearly tell no one's in there. So let's look in here. Looks like something was buried here. Wait, Chuck had a shovel though. Ugh. We have to go back out to get Chuck and his shovel. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. You never know, Chuck could still be alive. It's not, it's not the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. They would be dead. But um. Yeah, what's going on here? What is going on here? Nice here. What? what? Fountain. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet? Hey man, you will like it and you'll deal with it. Okay, those are just the other things. Um, let's see. What's going on over here? Uh, da -da -da -da. oh, hey, a shovel. That's just really convenient. The shovel is never not useful. Exactly. All right, so I kind of want to talk to Kristen and me for a second before we dig up the dead dog that I'm going to assume is buried in there. So what's How's going on? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected. It a could rant. Be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> uh, Sharn to rant. Um... She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and yeah. help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Jokes. See, Omid. Omid's a, a jokester. Let's talk to Clementine for a second as well. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Um, no. No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. Nah, it's that's just, just your headset's too up. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. Ah, she was all so needy. What are you looking at? Oh. Always get inside the house, inside the house, inside the house. Maybe I like the fresh air. Maybe I like being out here. You know, it's, it's nice and cozy. We're safe, so we have like a fence. We have a house, we have obviously this nice long pathway of other fences and brick walls and all of the sorts and things, but you know what? Fine. I'll dig up the dirt mound and we'll check out how we get inside. Let's do it. Let's hey, go. Be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Can, do can dogs even like turn into walkers? Can animals do that? What's buried down there? So I have no clue. It's pretty obvious. Um. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Well, yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Clementine, honey, come sit with me and Omid. Let Lee work. Yeah, Clementine, go away. I don't know why you all walked up to watch me un unearth a dead dog. But whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Oh, that's oh, nasty. Oh God, the smell. <laughs> can you? How we looked at him. Oh, well, I guess let's pick up the carcass. Oh god, this would be so nasty. I can't get it off. Oh god. Okay, that's oh. not cool. Jesus. I mean, I probably wouldn't puke to that, but that is quite nasty. I'm fine, honey. I mean, she's pregnant. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're I said I'm fine, okay? See, I don't know. If, like they also said something about like what if what happen and what happens when when we are up first meeting them? It sounded suspicious. Wait, did I get the collar? I guess I did. Okay. Uh, it sounded a little suspicious. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. I'm surprised. I don't think she is. It doesn't look like it, so. Clementine, you best get going. There's we need nothing. you up in there. Yes! God damn! Kenny's very happy. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. 
It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Yeah, go on, Clementine. She knows what to do. Um. Clem, are you okay? Say something. Yeah. Brava. Brava for Clementine. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. <laughs> you did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. That's all piling the abandoned house. Yay! Because Tenny totally looked through all of it. I bet there's gonna be a walker in here somewhere. There's gotta be probably like the owners of the house, something like that. I'd, I'd imagine. I'd imagine. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just yeah. being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So obviously there are a couple. I mean, that's, that was already... I just wanted to make that clear that I know that. It was kind of established probably a lot earlier. So, <laughs> okay. when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Eh, Who really. gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Mess your mind. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Mm-hmm. Maybe we need to go find Chuck. That's what I tried to I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Yeah, at least Kenny agreed. I mean, I I agree with that. Just take a little bit to just you know, collect our thoughts, relax. Place secure at least. I'll feel better. Ben, shut up. That for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Okay. All right. Good luck with Ben, Kenny. Hopefully, you kill him or he dies. Something happens. I don't know. As you guys can tell, I kind of hate Ben. What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Don't be sad. Jeez. Rude. Alrighty, so, let's do this.